Okay, today we're here to work with Duke and Buddy. Uh, a couple dogs, uh, one of them gets a little excited and sometimes lunges the other dog when it gets too close when it's eating food. Uh, let's see how they do on the greeting. <laughs> the cat is not trustworthy either. <laughs> so that's, we have a little aggression. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. So go ahead and grab him. Uh, well, let's do this. Uh, Sam, if you want to maybe come over here. Uh, actually, let's let him go. I just want to give him a chance to sniff me. Tail's wagging, but it's up. Up is a little bit more something to be concerned about. So I'm reading his body language because of his reaction before. His pupils are dilated. He's breathing pretty heavy. But we want the dog should meet by scent. So uh, when you do something like this, I can obviously protect myself and make sure that I don't get bit, um, while also giving you a chance to sniff me and get to know me a little bit. Hey, buddy. Is this Duke? That's Duke. Hey, Duke. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. Oh, yes. I have all sorts of good smelly stuff in there. So the problem, uh, if, if you pull him back and hold him, then that can intensify his reaction. So pulling him away, if it's a dangerous situation, something obviously we need to do. But in this case, that might have amplified things a little bit. So this would probably not be the most ideal way for you to greet. For me, it's okay. I'm going to show you a way, different way we can get uh, Duke to stay away from the door on his own. All right. Um, I'm going to uh, go ahead and come in first, and Sam's going to follow in behind me. Okay. Do we have to worry about them leaving? No. Running away? No. Okay. Excellent. I'm going to control Duke a little bit. There we go. We can let him sniff Sam a little bit. We just don't want to obviously get accosted. We're going to knock off some... We didn't like that picture anyways, huh? Yeah. All right. That feels 